Yeah, morning. What a beautiful day. First of all, uh, welcome to the uh, 40th. It's just a fantastic event. What do I remember? I've been commentating this one for over 20 years. Loved every bit of it. Love its legacy. Love its heritage. But there's just something iconic about it. 100 for a start. 100 miles back in the days of Miles per hour. So in fact, 160 kilometres. To do that in one race is just a legendary part of it as well. So there's that uh, menu about the respect, the endurance of it. So you've got to have Cody Cooper, uh, Ben Townley and Brent Groombridge. Between those three, they've won for the last seven years. And who do you have your money on? Who do I have my money on? I think I've got my money again on Brad Groombridge today. I've changed my mind just this morning, to be honest. <laughs> I was on Cody. The Tarawera 100, bring it on. You must be stoked to have a proper cross-country bike this year. Yeah, it's good. We've got electric start and the, even the tyre choices on it's good. I've noticed it's quite soft and plush. Yeah. And if someone beats me, they definitely deserve it. So, yeah. Brad, uh, what's it going to take to win it again? <laughs> I have no idea. This is my first time, so it's uh, just it's all going to be all new to me today. <laughs> Like What's it going to take to beat Brad? Good start.
half a lap left to go, Brad Groombridge led Cody Cooper in this great clash of two titans in our sport. Unfortunately, this is the last footage I have of the battle for the lead as all of the GoPros were well and truly out of battery by this point. So you can imagine my surprise when I arrived back at the pits to learn that Cody Cooper had crossed the finish line four minutes ahead of Brad Groombridge. What on earth had happened out of sight? About halfway, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it was, a, it was a good race. Yeah, it was pretty good rough. Him, man. Well done. Thank you. Oh. That looks to be painful. Yeah, the old uh, left hand is almost impossible. Um, I just basically rolled around the last lap after Cody got past me. I tried to slow the pace down as much as I could. Um, and then eventually I just didn't know where we were going. Were you basically just like in no man's land there the whole race? Oh, the first time I've seen him once. Yeah. In one of the, one of the, the, um, like the single ball sections and I crashed and he got me and I was just in my own f***ing. Cody got away early years, eh? You've got a good start, eh? Oh, mate. Best start I've got all year. Best start all your career across yeah, countries. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but the, oh, I've seen you once in there. You must have got stuck or something. And then after that you were gone. Alright, so how'd it go? <laughs> uh, not too bad, got a pretty good start, was pretty stoked. So, brand new bike. Uh, just took a little bit of running in in the first five minutes, but besides that was good. Fourth, not too bad. I'd want to be on the podium though. No man's land all race. Yeah, couldn't see anybody, so anyway, <laughs> sometimes that happens. Hard to keep pushing when you can't see anyone, eh? Yeah, sure. Look at that for a podium, well done. Cody Cooper, Brad Grimbridge, and the new gun, Hadley Knight. Soft as a bonus for you, there we go. There we go, uh oh, bad Brad, 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 he's, uh, he's, he's a bit slow there. Here you go folks, another round of applause. The bubbles are sprayed in a fantastic finale, well done. Get it, get it, why? Yeah.